Sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. It would appear my target has disappeared. They were wise to flee. Isn't my old friend the frozen TV dinner? Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years, but I don't need a roommate. Leave. <laughs> Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. Hello. After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. You are. <laughs> Employing melee tactics.
Where did you go? Gone. Excellent. Detected. Curious. Movement detected. Curious. Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my sensors need calibration. This is beyond me.
this. Got it. Combat initiated. Movement Guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Odd. Uh, my scanners must be malfunctioning. Got it.
Shannon down. Let's talk. my son. Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away. That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. So where is it, huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So. You ready? You know. In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell, so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Hello? Where did you go?
not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Nikki, I'm just asking for your opinion. It'd be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But am I right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? We can talk to him. Feel like holding a seance? <laughs> a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. I was so blinded by anger. I just wanted him dead. Now look what I've done. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to... Get it jump-started. 
See what the old Merc knew. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Miss Perkins. Nick's not the type to turn someone away, but he's only one person. So sometimes things just pile up. Hmm? It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and barbarian citizens, but it's home. Working hard? You're back. You find that paint? Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Abbott. Blue? You know what you're doing there? The wall ain't blue. 